Hi, welcome, welcome back, back to the YouTube, YouTube channel. <laughs> it is a great day to put one hoof in front of the other. And today we're doing something very Halloweeny and very something very exciting. Girls, what are we doing? We're going to dress up the ponies as Halloween people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are going to get Mungo in, Jack in, and Katie in. Georgie's not in. <laughs> there yeah, we are. Yep. Yeah. And we are going to be getting them ready. I keep looking at this. this I always do this. I look at that instead of looking okay, right, at, the, at the lens. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to get them in. And all three of them, we are going to be dressed up to match our ponies. Mm -hmm. I've got Jack. Georgie's going to use Mungo. And obviously Emily with Katie. And yeah, do we tell them what we're doing no, with I them? I think they should. They yeah, can surprise. just see us get yeah. ready yeah, and then yeah, the end look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I don't think we're giving away much at the moment. No. No one can. No so one can bright. <laughs> right. So without further ado, let's get the ponies in yeah. and start getting ready. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. The way you're moving. Got me moving my own feet Greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me Let's not waste time or take this slow We've got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down Simple is true You and I as one Will always be better than two I thought you'd like to see the start of the day Which is the morning Frostiness getting the ponies fed and happy It was a chilly one today So I added some hot water to their feeds And as you can see they're steaming in the cold, cold air <laughs> Black Jack is my two-year-old forester, so he's only a baby, and he absolutely loves to make Jazz and Mungo play with him. So as you can see here, he's learning that Shetlands do actually fight dirty back. <laughs> Um, do you think I should do some? Should I fill some in? Oh, 
A horsefly went and landed on Mungo, so we all ran to his rescue, uh, trying to get it, <laughs> as you do. Should I fill some of them in and leave some of them blank? Blank, not blank, but like... No, I think they need to fill it in to show you further. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, that's cool. I've just literally, I haven't done Jack's feet, um, he's only two, but I haven't done his feet for a couple of, hmm, I don't know, I haven't picked up his feet for well over a month and I've just done three and he's been so good and then I thought, oh, I better record it, I so I'll really re record the last one and he's probably, yeah, goes crazy. <laughs> You're such a big boy, aren't you? Yeah, and I once I gathered the money, I got Good boy, Jack. Put it on Georgie and her. Oh, that's brilliant, Georgie. Do you you done that all by yourself? It's got even it's even got the lines in it as well. You're such a Artist. That's brilliant! Get a close in like this. I haven't even started you on Jack's yet. I didn't take art for GCC. Oh, yours are very good, Em. Yes, they are. They are beautiful. Could be so dirty and roll, though, Mungo. I know, it could have been like gleaming. Not normal for a baby. You could do all of his mane in buns, couldn't you? Like a long. That's gonna take ages. I mean, that would be cool, but I am not a pro at buns. <laughs> These wash out so easily as well. I had to, like, I'm, I made a mistake and I just put some water on it and it completely disappeared. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we do not want to be having some yeah. random pumpkins and heart residue on our horses' bums. <laughs> and Jack, I don't think, would be very happy if he had some glasses on for three weeks. <laughs> right. Please do. Better get the fly cream out. Fly cream out in October, and we're in t-shirts. Bit weird. Can we just take a moment to appreciate my two-year-old stood tied up like a big boy, behaving like he's one of the grown-ups this whole time. He's such a good boy. And less than a year ago, he was wild on the forest. Oh, yeah down um so i bought this end of summer and i was like oh well flies are gone now i'll save it for next year but no the sun's come out and um we need to put some on just watching that my two-year-old doesn't reverse into me or kick me we're okay um power phaser durative it's so good but Noticed it, it's probably. gone up in price I have yeah I mean it was ugh, about a year ago or so on a YouTube 
I talked about that this is what I use. Um, you put our song to edit, so good. Yeah, for fly repellent. You can see, and I think everyone's caught on to that this is the best one, and it has gone up in price, so it is amongst the higher priced fly repellents. However, can you put a price on what really works and lasts the longest and it keeps the flies away? Especially with Mungo, who is very sensitive to flies and will get very emotional and upset and just point blank refuse to move if he has flies on him. So, yes. It smells very strong. But we're going to just put this on the dinkies. Actually, this is probably Jack's first time having it on, so hopefully he won't be too silly. Look how pink my fingers are now. Good boy! I don't want to get it too on you because it will um, ruin your coat. Not ruin your coat, but it shows up. Just put a little bit to deter the fly flies. Such a good boy, Jackie Kins. You're such a good boy, Jackie Kins. So why are you talking to me like I am a toddler? I am a teenage boy. Show me some respect. That was an inside head talk. In case you are wondering what we are using on the ponies, it is hair chalk. Okay, we are about to try and draw chalk <laughs> on my two year old. You're a wizard, Harry. You're, I've got to do an, um, Hagrid's voice. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Alright, can we try with some thin glasses? Yeah? Ooh, that works very well. Please don't juggle me. Please don't juggle me. I like to be a perfectionist when it comes to art. Come here. Good boy. Do I use this to do the hoop for? Yeah, of course. Good boy. <laughs> that doesn't even stare. Good boy. It looks like the scene out of spirit when yeah. they're like doing <laughs> <laughs> tribal paintings. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Yeah, Alright, you made the glass go a bit wonky there, but that's alright. Yeah, his glasses now he's looking, now he's like this. I'm just look at me, guys. Harry's glasses are always broken. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <it's> <laughs> Why do you keep pouring your ground? Um, how are we going to make the, the glasses go up like that? Or should or I just make I think you should go, I think you should just do a line there. Go in there. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not a fan of this. Outfit <laughs> change reveal. Ready? One, two, three. 
Siri. <laughs> I cast a spell on you. Oh, <laughs> I've got my groovy glasses on. Right, let's do it. <laughs> My mum made Jack's Gryffindor tie from scratch with recycled jumpers. She's so clever, I absolutely love it. As you can see, I am Ravenclaw. <laughs> Jack still wants to be joining in. He was like, hey, I thought I was going to be ridden. Hello, pumpkin. Hello. Thank you. I feel like hippie. That was a funny thing. <laughs> you do look hippie Barbie. There's a pumpkin passing a Barbie. Emily, you should give me the peace sign, like. <laughs> Are they jingling? We forgot to do a thanks for watching when the girls were here. Um, they've gone now. I mean, I've, I've, I'm coming up to do the evening feed and uh, yeah, give everyone their grub. But thank you for watching. We hope that you had a good time um, and maybe given some ideas for things to be this Halloween and with things to be this Halloween with your, oh look at that sunset with your pony. Oh, very autumnal. Oh, my hair's not great now. Um, so yes, 
Hey Flinny. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy Halloween. Happy Halloween! Bye!